Welcome! In front of me is a Oppo Pod Neo and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So to get started let's open up our settings. It gives us a quick pop-up right here whatever. So it does let us know that we have the bar which we can get access to but in any case let's skip that for now as I want to start with the display and brightness. And here we will find things like the light and the dark mode, which uh, on this device we actually don't have option to set it up throughout the setup process. Um, so you can choose it right here. And additionally, you have the schedule option below that, which allows you to select it so it automatically switches between light to dark on either sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer. Now going back, uh, we have a couple additional things like a natural tone display, aka True Tone, rips off from Apple. It does make the display look a little bit more yellowish the first time around, which might be a bit jarring to some people at the very beginning, but it's something that you will get used to. And obviously, if you don't like this bluish color to the display, that is something that you might be interested in. Now, above that, we actually have color uh, screen color mode. And like every other device, on the market, uh, Apple also selects a vivid as its normal default option. And you can clearly see it specifically on this image right here how ridiculously overdone this is. These colors don't look natural whatsoever. So I personally like to use something that is a bit more toned down like natural, but even with that it's still overdone. The specifically like the reds right here are just disgusting. Um, so if you want you can turn that or change that right here. If you don't like the oversaturated colors that the device produces. And with the uh, natural tone display, it will tone them down even further. Just to kind of showcase this, you can see it a bit more now. Uh, but it's not much of a difference. Now, moving a little bit further down, we have things like the screen uh, refresh rate, and this device supports 90 hertz refresh rate, so you can toggle it on right here. If you want to prioritize just battery life over anything else, you can change it to standard, and this will give you a bit of a better battery life overall. But I'm gonna stick with the uh, 90 just because it's smoother and looks nicer. Now, moving on to another option, it's going to be notifications and status bar. And here we have status bar. Now, I personally like Oppo and OnePlus because they do have the option for you to hide useless garbage from your status bar. And as you can see, you have a list of different toggles that would typically be visible right here or here, and you can get rid of all of them. Now, they will only hide on the status bar, so they won't show up right here, uh, but they will still be toggled on. So, you have things like location, uh, rotation, that are, vis that are on, and uh, I think those were actually visible by default, so that didn't really change much. But for instance, Bluetooth would be definitely visible. Do not disturb mode if you enable it, it would be visible. And further, you can also uh, change the notifications right here, how they're being shown. So by default, every device has this to set to show each notification separately, but we can change it to, for instance, a number. So it's gonna give you a number of how many notifications you have, but it won't show you the icon for each one of them. You can still pull down your notifications and take a look yourself right here, but it just gives you a bit of a cleaner look, which is what I personally like. Now, another thing that you have access to here is this panel on the side, which can pull out. And we have access to a couple different applications. I believe we also should have option to shortcuts. Let's select edit. Yep, we do. So we can add things like the uh, voice recorder in here. We already have actually added a screen recorder and screenshot. Uh, so you can get rid of those if you don't want them. You can also add applications in here. So I just say I'm going to add a like, couple of things here. And choose done. And as you can see, you have now access to those. So we still have the screenshot and other stuff. So we can open up applications from here. Um, so we have also info about the floating, uh, floating apps or floating bar, I guess, as it's called. So let's uh, turn on allow. I'm trying to figure out if we can. Okay, so we can uh, open up applications in split screen, but the ones that I'm choosing just don't work. Ah, there we go. So you can see we can now split screen two different applications at the same time re relatively easily. You can also hold on the bar, your gesture bar, 
I'm not necessarily sure how that actually works if you have a button navigation. So that is something that we need to uh, figure out. But as you can see, you can bring up the bar and uh, see if we can open up another application. So we can do a side by side again. We don't have the option to actually open it up in a pop up view, as you can see. So whatever you choose right here, you only have the option between like side by side, and that's about it. So, in any case, with that being said, this would conclude the tweaks and tricks I want to show you. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.